Trossard and Donny expected to leave Man United this week, but McTominay and Maguire could be out the door in the coming days or even hours, with Maguire particularly very close to a move to West Ham, which would open the door for United to sign Todibo. Fred and Donny opens the door for Man United to sign Amrabat, but if McTominay is sold, United could even sign Lavia. West Ham have put in a 60 million double bid, 30 million each from Maguire and McTominay. Now, the McTominay bid has been rejected with United wanting 40 million, and West Ham set to come in and put another bid higher to try and get the McTominay deal done. But West Ham and Man United are confident deals could be agreed. United pushing for 70 million, West Ham bidding 60 million for the two stars, and the Maguire deal is particularly close. And if these two deals happen for 70 million, United could sign two up to three new players so we're gonna dive right into the story starting with what came out earlier from simon stone west ham are keen on manchester united pair harry Maguire and scott mctominay there's a greater momentum behind their recruitment drive after the 4-0 defeat that west ham suffered in pre-season and that manchester united would be open to the potential deal but both Maguire and scott mctominay are part of ten old squad and the club know they would need replacements if they are sold so United open to selling both players, but they want to make sure they get a decent fee because obviously they need to replace them. Obviously, Amrabat replaces Donny and Fred, but they would also want someone to replace McTominay, which could be Lavia, which we'll get into at the end of the video. And obviously, Maguire would want 35 million because Tolibo will be 35 million. It was said by ex-West Ham United employee, who's a very good source, that West Ham made a take it or leave it offer worth 60 million for Maguire and McTominay, 30 million for each player. However, the time said Man United would accept an offer an offer in the range of 40 to 45 million for Scott McTominay and around 30 million for Maguire. There are suggestions that United want 75 million combined for both players. I think United could could agree a deal of 70 million for both players because of the wages. A lot of people saying let's upset the 60 million double bid. But honestly, I actually get why United are holding out for a little bit more money. And people might call me crazy, but West Ham have just got 105 million for Declan Rice. They're absolutely desperate. If West Ham are bidding 40 to 45 million for Conor Gallagher, I think they can up that Scott McTominay bid to 35 to 40 million. Scott McTominay, 200 appearances, homegrown with sin the tax on players. I think United are fine to hold out. I think if they offer 65 million for both, but, and that is the last offer. And that means if we reject that, we don't sell them, then definitely upset the 65 million. But I do think United can hold out for 70 million. But I think 30 million for Maguire, I'd upset that. I would push for 35 to 40 million for McTominay. And that seems what likely what United are going to do because reportedly Maguire is close, but the McTominay bid has been rejected. But there's a feeling that West Ham are going to go back in and put another bid in for McTominay. It was said by, was said by Sasha Tovelli that Manchester United are likely to agree to sell Maguire and McTominay to West Ham in a double deal. United want to sell both players as soon as possible and move on to other targets. It is said that United will likely agree to this deal. Obviously, they know that De Declan Rice, 105 million. They're just holding up and waiting on that deal. But it's said by sources this deal is likely to be agreed, particularly the Maguire deal, depending on his wage demand and if he moves to West Ham. Now, what was actually particularly said on Harry Maguire was this. Justin West Ham have made an improved bid of 30 million for Maguire, now waiting to hear back. But Romano mentioned that there are other Premier League clubs who are interested in signing Maguire. So it looks like there are other teams that could potentially move for Maguire. So West Ham obviously want to get this deal done quick because actually there are a few teams interested in Maguire. If I was United, I'd accept this bid because West Ham would have to pay him quite high wages to convince him to actually move. So I know that United want to hold out for 30 to 30 to 35 sorry, to 40 million, but you've got to address the fact that he's going to be earning half his wages at West Ham. Maybe we can lower the fee by 5 million to bridge that kind of gap. Laurie Whitwell said on the situation, that West Ham, are, sorry, that West Ham's proposal to Maguire is 30 million and it's getting close to the figure United would upset, but the outcome does depend on Maguire. West Ham have, have been encouraged, he's open to joining. Now, this is massive from Whitwell. United will probably upset 30 million for Maguire, but at the end of the day, if Maguire doesn't agree to join West Ham, the deal won't happen. Maguire knows that he's going to earn less wages. Maguire's not too bothered about leaving United, despite fans booing and being stripped of cats and seeing people wanting him gone. Maguire doesn't really care that much about leaving United, but Laurie Whitwell said that West Ham have been encouraged, Maguire's open to joining and the fee is close. And it was also said as well that West Ham are prepared to offer Harry Maguire 100k a week with Man United potentially bridging the gap um, in his 190k a week wages. Um, some sources have said the 30 million bid's been rejected, 
but no reliable sources have confirmed this 30 million bid's been rejected, but we do know the McTominay bid's been rejected. Now, the United Muppeteers that have been pretty spot on throughout this whole transfer window spoke on the situation and they said that Maguire's very close. They says, as I understand it, United and West Ham are not that far apart on at least the Maguire and potentially Scott as well. United need West Ham to be uh, at least a bit flexible in discussions, but at the moment, both parties seem open to making a deal for both players. So they're saying that despite bids being rejected, there's not much in the Maguire deal especially, but even the Scott deal's close. There just needs to be, be a bit of flexibility with both teams um, going to accept a deal to, to sell the players. So it looks like if West Ham up their bid by potentially 5 to 10 million, these deals could be done. Now, Scott McTominay, United obviously want a little bit more for, obviously, homegrown 26 million. I have to say 70 million profit in the eyes of FFP from Maguire and McTominay would be unreal. 65 million I would take because that would cost Todd, that that would cover Todibo and Amrabat and potentially even a hijack of Lavia to Liverpool. But I think Lavia to Liverpool will go. I think if they see United sell players, Liverpool will get scared and just give Southampton what they want. But Sky Sports said that West Ham will continue to push to sign McTominay despite bids being rejected. And Luckhurst did confirm that 30 million offer for McTominay was rejected. But Melissa Reddy did mention that Newcastle United could still act on their interest on Scott McTominay depending on other deals. So, you know, West Ham, obviously, you know, they know that Mc Newcastle are interested in McTominay. They know other clubs are interested in McTominay. Same with Maguire. And this might push West Ham to go, you know what, we've got 105 million for Declan Rice. We've got pumped 4-0 four -nil, four -nil, four -nil in pre-season. We need to get going. We need to sign players. Edison, Edison Alvarez, Mook Tomine and Maguire, probably the ideal defensive replacement for Declan Rice. I actually think that Mook Tomine and Maguire would be fantastic signing to West Ham because Edison Alvarez means that Mook Tomine does that Suchek role, which means he's not prepared to do the Declan Rice role. I think Maguire would be better in West Ham where there's less pressure and that's what I want to see. And West Ham are in the Europa League that are in Europe as well. Um, it was said by Luckhurst that West Ham's bid for Harry Maguire was also rejected and sources doubt West Ham will make a new offer for Scott McTominay but they're considering making a better offer for Maguire. So Luckhurst, although other sources claim the Maguire bid wasn't rejected, Luckhurst does claim the Harry Maguire bid was rejected um, but the United, that West Ham are going to up that offer to try and get it done. They really want Maguire but other sources saying they really want McTominay and while the bids were rejected and West Ham claimed it was a take it or leave it offer, there's a feeling that West Ham are going to come back with a 70 million double bid to get the deals done. It was also said by Melissa Reddy that United do value Scott McTominay closer to 45 million and would be happy to keep him, but he's also seen as the biggest sale they can make this summer. I think if United need to balance in the books, Scott McTominay being a bench player and probably only be worth about 20 million max in a year, it makes sense to cash in on McTominay. For me, I would take 35 million for McTominay. I think 30 million, yeah, I get why you're United rejected it. A lot of you guys have been saying, why would we reject 60 million from Maguire and McTominay? Get rid, get rid. It's just because of how much West money West Ham have. They bidded 45 million for Conor Gallagher. We can get 35 million from McTominay. He's a better player than Conor Gallagher. I get that. I would accept 30 million from Maguire. I would accept 35 million from McTominay. I would edge for 65 million for those two players because of obviously the situation with West Ham and their money. But I think United are putting out these stories that they're happy to keep Maguire, they're happy to keep McTominay, their valued players to the squad to try and drive up their value. Man United don't want to appear as desperate to sell McTominay and Maguire. If they've set that first bid for McTominay and Maguire and appear as desperate, that's a weak spot. The fact that they've rejected these bids, they're saying we're happy for those players to be involved, we're happy for those players to stay. This says to West Ham, the pressure is on, you've lost 4-0 in pre-season, you've got the money. They don't really want to sell these players because they're important to the squad. And that's a message to West Ham of hurry up. You, you've got to make an offer as well. So, yeah, obviously Romano has confirmed that the McTominay bid was, re sorry, the McTominay bid was rejected, but Maguire um, is still ongoing, but it's not quite advanced yet. The Harry Maguire situation right now depends on if Maguire wants to leave. McTominay will agree to join West Ham. McTominay is happy to join West Ham. Maguire, it depends if he wants to take a wage cut or not. I think United could potentially cut a deal with West Ham where potentially they agree to 30 million because they can't be 35 million because they've got to pay that extra in wages. Um, but it depends on if Maguire agrees to join West Ham. McTominay is happy to join West Ham, but that depends on if West Ham put another bid in. But reliable sources are saying, look, United are playing hardball because they know West Ham are desperate. They don't want, Man United don't want to appear desperate to sell. They believe West Ham are going to come back in with other bids. And hopefully they do, because if West Ham do walk away after these two bids, then I think we would regret not getting 60 million for these two players because they'll probably be worth 40 million in a year's time having sat on the bench most of the season. Um, yes, we need to replace them. And yes, we probably do want 60 million for both of them to afford suitable replacements. I get why United are pushing for 70 million. It's smart business. 
But if West Ham do walk away, it's not smart business. We're playing a game where we're going to assume West Ham are going to come back. And you know what? I would have accepted the 30 million for Maguire and I would have rejected the 30 million for McTominay. If you had rejected both, that's silly. Um, they should accept the Maguire. 30 million for a guy that's 30. McTominay, if they bid 35 million, I just accept that because Amrabat and Todibo, you can get for 60 million combined and then you would sell these players for 65 million. That is what I would do. But Paul Joyce has also mentioned that Man United are interested in signing Lavia. And potentially, you know, we know Amrabat comes in when Donny and Fred is sold. We know Amrabat is a Donny Fred replacement. If McTominay goes, especially if Man United do get 45 million from McTominay, which I don't think they do, will do. I think they maybe will get 40 million. They could potentially hijack uh, Lavia to Liverpool. But I do think that deal is so close in advance that I think Liverpool would just hurry up and pay Southampton what they want. They just, Liverpool have the money to give Southampton 50 million for Lavia. They got 20 million for Jordan Henderson. So they got 40 million for Jordan Henderson and 20 million for Fabinho or something. So I do think that Liverpool, or the other way around, I do think that Liverpool will probably get Lavia. But there's a chance that United could hijack Lavia. But this week is massive. Fred's apparently set to choose his next destination this week. Donny's set to move this week. Um, Maguire deal and McTominay deals are reportedly particularly quite close and there's a feeling that they will be agreed. Um, if it's not agreed and if we actually don't end up selling them, I think we're going to reject, we're going to regret rejecting that 60 million bid. But look, guys, make sure you're subscribed because there's going to be a lot of news over the coming days on Maguire, McTominay, Donny, Fred, because once the outs happen and the outs look set to happen, the ins happen. That if, if Maguire goes, it's Todibo. Um, once the midfielder goes to Sam Rabat, but if McTominay goes, Dean Henderson goes, other players go, we could be looking at a third signing, an attacker, a Lavia, another midfielder. It could be exciting. So smash your like, smash your subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.